Hello everyone. Today I want to create a data grid component. Um, I want my data grid component component to be very similar to DevEx Dev Express or Dev Stream data grid component. At least I will have some column configurations. I will uh, have the functionality of sorting and paging and perhaps something else as well. So in this video, I'm going to cover the column configurations. So let's get started. This is a server side laser a default template from Visual Studio. So let's create the data grid component. And there are the controls folder. Razor component. Let's call it data grid. I might need a silent keyboard. This keyboard is too loud. Sorry about that. Um, so in order to have the data passed in, I need it to be um, to have a generic type. And then from there, I need to use the generic type to have a list of items. Okay, so I'm going to have parameter that list of items as a parameter. And uh, it's going to be type of item, T item. And let's call it data items. And after that, I need to define, like to configure the columns. And for that, I need my columns to have, to indicate what kind of data field uh, within the T item that, that we're gonna use for the column. And we're gonna caption uh, data type and format and alignment as well. So let's have a, um, configuration folder okay. and let's create that column definition class okay. so I have this and what I need is data fill and I would need the caption as well right because the name of the column may not can it may be different from the caption uh, of that column and then I would need a data type so for that I would need a data type class right it has uh, not set, string, number, date, date time, bowling, currency. And I would use it here as a data type. Okay. And I will call it data type as well. And after that, I will have uh, a format. And this format is, I plan it to be a free format. That's why it's a string. And then I would have uh, alignment as well. And for that, I will create alignment class. Um, and that I will create it here. I'll call it alignment. And it's uh, gonna be an enumeration as well. And it has not set, left, center, right. Okay, so with the column definitions, um, I want to have a constructor of this, and I want to initialize the data type to be uh, not set. Now everything is not set at the beginning, right? Alignment not set. Okay. And then 
let's go back to our component and from the component and from the component we'll have a list of columns as parameters right so that we can define our column and uh, I need the controls to be in here um, in the import file so the namespace is here uh, so I have column definition so I'll call it columns okay and with this I should be able to uh, render a and I'm going to use the BOMA, all right? So I imported my BOMA CSS file. And uh, so with, the, with that, uh, we're going to start creating the HTML here. And for that, we will use a table because it's a grid. And uh, class will be uh, for width. Okay, so it's a BOMA class. And let's create the header first. Okay, uh, so we'll have um, a row of header. And if we don't have the columns, that's where we're going to use a reflection uh, to you know, uh, to do with you know, we're going to create the header with reflection. Um, but let's focus on the scenario where we have the column definitions. Okay, so we create the header um, based on column definitions. Here, we'll just... Uh, um, we will need to loop through, right, for each bar column in columns. Uh, and here, and here, what we need to create the uh, th element, right? So it's going to be um, th and then the column the caption so let's let's test this um let's use the index component since it has almost nothing on it and uh, let's import i think we import that already so we will have our data grid well we don't and that's because yeah we don't have it yet we have this, let's import this namespace controls. And then we go back to here. Um, we can have our data grid. And I don't know why it's still complaining that. Uh, oh, controls. And let's go back to here. And we'll data grid, data grid component. And we have our data items, column definition, everything, right? So let's just use it this for now. It's going to complain, but let's add this code here. Then we need to initialize the definition and stuff. Right? With that, um, we have, uh, I have some definitions created for, um, we ha I have some data created from previous videos, uh, and I have extended that. So let's just copy that over. So I have an employee class specified here, right? And I need to def uh, define a list of employees um, in here. And I, I need to initialize that. I also need a column definition, right? And that's, that is here and have my initialization method created already 
So let's copy and paste that over here and let's take a look. What it's trying to do is it's trying to initialize. If it's null, then we create a new definition and that definition has name, title, department, employee, employment date and salary and captions are name, title, department, employment date with a space. Uh, salary is uh, annual salary, right? And then we have our employee list hard coded over here just for uh, testing the data component, data grid component. So uh, with this, uh, we can specify the TM, T item to be employee, right? And then we can specify um, our data items to use the list employees. And then we can use, uh, we can assign the column definition to columns. Okay, so with this, I expect that the components start showing. Um, I expect the components start showing something. Okay, so we have nothing here. We have nothing here, and that's because we are not calling the initialize method yet. So we're going to override it, and we're going to call the uninitialize. Uh, lifecycle event so that our list employees uh, sorry so that we can initialize this right here right so both have column definitions uh, both have both we're checking whether it's now or not on both uh, attributes so uh, so we're using, so it's okay to use it in the uninitialized lifecycle event because the uninitialized lifecycle event is actually being called twice. If you have watched my previous episodes, uh, you know this. It's going to call twice on the first, first, uh, page load. So, um, and we made a change and go back and refresh the screen. All right, so we have our name, title, department, employment, date, and annual salary. So that's pretty cool. And we notice that we have a space here and a space here. Uh, so it's actually picking up the um, uh, the caption, and that's that's pretty good. Uh, so the next thing we are going to work on is. Uh, uh, we're going to display the data, right? So for that, since we have already initialized the data, uh, let's go back to our data grid component and let's um, add the T body, T body element. And from here, uh, what we need to do is we just simply loop through the data items, right? And in here we have the rows and we just need to, you know, go um, uh, also loop through the columns and uh, provide. So inside the double loop, we use um, reflection, you know, T item, and then we just get property. Got what property, and that's where the data field, you know, the data field is being used here, right? Because if we go back to column definition, we can see the data field here. And if we go back to our uh, initialization, data initialization, we can see that the that the data field, you know, it corresponds to each one of the properties in the employee class, right? So here, so we use the reflection and provide the data field as the name of the property. And that's, that will get our corresponding property from the employee class. Right? And here we just need to get value and get value of what? Get value of the current, um, current item. Right. And that should provide us with the data. And let's go refresh the page and see whether we have all of the uh, data displayed here. All right, cool. So we have the data here and uh, we noticed something that, you know, 
we want to have some formatting. Uh, the salary is not showing dollar sign, like it's not being displayed as currency. And the alignment for numbers should be aligned to the right. I want to see it to, to align to the right. Uh, I want the employment date to only display the date part. So we have some formatting to do. So let's first uh, deal with alignment. Deal with alignment. And for that, we we already have the alignment in the um, in the definition and for alignment we have not set left center and right and uh, to do to use alignment we need to uh, do something with um, header and as well as data so let's deal with the data since we just finished data here so so inside here I think um, what we need to do is um, if if column dot alignment is not not set right? in other words if there is a definition for alignment then we'll, well let's implement the else because it's simply just this right and if there is a alignment then we need to have um we have need to have it here so just say column dot um, alignment column dot yeah alignment uh, I don't know maybe you guys can tell me why whenever I type uh, whenever I use the IntelliSense the dot goes to the to the end of that line instead of instead of at the at the right place i don't know how to, i don't know how to resolve that problem i tried space i tried uh enter i tried tab it has that problem sometimes it has that problem so then i go over here and i do two string um and then i can do i need to do make sure it's lower in lower case right because it's it's left left center and right and that corresponds to the CSS style so I can just uh, use a two string here and um, I think that's it for alignment at least for the data part right and let's go back and refresh and see what happens I'm expecting um, the alignment to be to be right because um, if we go back to our definitions here you can see that I have um alignment to the right for salary for the salary column right so yeah so it's working right uh then we need to have the um the header to be also aligned to the to the right i need to go to uh, the header part and then let's see whether we can do the same thing um we just copy this and get it over here and instead of using that complicated stuff for data we just use this <clears throat> and then here um, we use yeah we'll just remove this let me say column dot caption and remove this part and let's see whether we can get the alignment right okay so it got the alignment right but then it changed the um yeah it changed the style right so i think it's uh it got rid of the um something related to the th because the alignment that we assigned here Oh, okay, okay. So it's TD. We use TD. So let's go over here and refresh again. I changed to TH. Now, ah, okay. So let's inspect and see what happens. So I have it on the other window and uh, moving it over here. Well, has the we have the alignment to the right, but something is overriding. Uh, this and that should have something to do with the th here 
and that's what is that okay so it inherits it inherits from something okay so if I yeah if I add it back then yeah then if I remove the inherit then it works Mm. So I may have to add another uh, class, and that's when that's where I usually in Bootstrap or Boma I create an override uh, class. And let's take a look at the and uh, let's just create a override style style sheet. So style sheet uh, style. Uh, style sheet and I'll just create a let's call it Boma Bow Boma Override Okay and uh, in here I will have uh, uh, I want to create a, a alignment. My uh, style is also targeting TH, and I want it to align to the right. Okay, and that would have uh, you know, text aligned to the right. And since I'm trying to override, so I'm gonna use import important. And since I am doing this, I'm gonna create for left center as well as uh, right of all of them um, center and, okay so and I have that and if I go back and I just um, alignment right so in here I have to do switch statement switch um, uh, the alignment right case column dot alignment dot uh, sorry case alignment dot left right and case alignment dot center case alignment dot right and uh, in another case, uh, just do nothing. In another case, fix this typo. And I think the formatting is weird, so let's format again. Okay, going back up. And so, so instead of using it right here, let's put. It inside and we need to use the class that we just created so we have class and I will call a line uh, left right and center and right so here we have center and then we have right over here and if it's if it's alignment.not set or if it's default, then we use uh, nothing. And that should be okay. Let's see what happens if we refresh our. Uh, still not working. And why is that? Inspecting. Okay, and we have our class. Where's our class? We have the align right class, right? But it's not loaded. Hmm. 
Hmm. Perhaps, um, let's go to, I think, perhaps we need to, the style sheet here. So, we have this already here, and uh, I need my bono to be here. And I also need my Boma uh, override to be here as well. And let's see whether this would fix that problem. Okay, all right, cool. So we have our um, class correctly uh, applied here. Uh, next thing is I want to have the formatting as well. And, uh, and for that, I am uh, planning to do something simple. Uh, if we have, if we go back to our here, um where we define our columns if we have our format if we have our format see i have this data type as currency i have this format as well um, and uh, i have the format here as well so if there is a format then then i want to format it otherwise i'll just leave it alone right so going back to the data great component and um, we need to add some formatting in the in the t-body area right and that's where we will have uh, some kind of if statement right so I would say if the format is not empty right or null if column dot Format is not empty or null, and uh, f column dot data type. We also because the format is kind of dependent on the data type, so I also want to say you know if it's if it's not if it's set already, then I would actually format it. And in here, I also need to do some switch statement. According to you know different data type, I would format it differently, right? So if it's date, um, if it's date, is there a date? Yeah, is there just date? Or if it's a um. date time then I would uh, you know what I'll create a string here right, and this is the value and uh, if it's a date or date time the value would be date time dot uh, I would parse the because this value is basically an object. So I would have this and then I would call to string. Oops. To y. Oh, okay. So to string. And then I have, you know, I have this and then I just do string because this is a daytime and then I use what I use the column dot format right and that should do it so that's for uh, date or daytime and if it's a boolean if it's a boolean then we're gonna do it a little bit differently, right? Um, we're gonna say value, sorry, value equals. Um, again, it would be similar to the daytime thing. Uh, we just, instead of daytime, we use this. We're gonna parse it and then we're gonna 
we'll just say two string. And this should give us whether it's true or false. And, and then if it's currency, 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 um, I also want to just copy this over here, and uh, so I'm gonna use you know it's double, and I want to parse that value, and uh, this would give us uh, currency. I just uh, you know what I'll just uh, I just use this. And I also want to run it. So I will use master run and uh, I'll provide this. Okay. Okay, so I run it first and then I convert it to currency format. So then I have the format here. And uh, so I have the, sorry, I have the value here. And So I have the volume value here, and this here there was the alignment, and I just need to put the value. So instead of this, I just need to use the value, I think. Right? And that will be like this. And yeah, same thing as here. I'll just put the value here. Um, what's the complaint? It does not exist. Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay, okay. That value is supposed to be inside here. Right? So that's when it has format. And if it does not have format, oh yeah, it should use the original, which I got rid of. Um, yeah, so let's revert. I'll copy this first. And I'll revert. Okay, that's good. And then I have it right here. Uh, and else, so this if statement is if there is a format, right? So we're dealing with otherwise here. Otherwise, we just use the original one, which doesn't go with any format. Okay, so I think we're good and going back and refresh the screen. All right, so cool. We have our um, employment date format. We have our annual salary as well. So that's, I think that's what I want to cover for today. I covered um, column definitions, column configurations. I covered uh, formatting and I covered alignment. In the following episodes, I think I will uh, do sorting, paging, and perhaps something else. All right, thank you very much for watching. <clears throat> if you like my video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the future episodes. Thank you.